Well, good morning, YouTube. It is January 3rd, 9.30 a.m. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show you a little something here quick uh, about uh, the bale feeders that I purchased from Aeroquip. Um, kind of went out, made a big investment. Obviously, I sell hay for a living, and uh, the more hay I can save, uh, the better off we are um, for sales, right? Uh, and one thing I was getting tired of, like I said in my previous videos, was the waste of the hay. Um, the cattle would, you know, pull out what they wanted and lay on the rest, and the bale feeders were sloppy. So like I said, I've done a video earlier on these, video, these uh, bale feeders. But I kind of just want to show you guys. This is uh, a little over five weeks now. I've had these bale feeders in the same exact location in my new little feed area that I set up and built this fall. And uh, I want to just kind of show you what it looks like. Um, you're gonna have to excuse the snow that we got, but here's a little preview um, and you can kind of see how they've been standing around here. So I've got seven of these, four in a back row, three in a front row, strategically placed behind my windbreaks here and those bins and obviously the big belt from there, but it is honestly quiet back in here when the cattle are in here. I've been feeding first cutting, second cutting, and even a third cutting grass alfalfa, uh, depending on what we've had. You know, we had that 28 below streak there and 20 below streak for about, uh, you know, eight, nine days. And then we had some random colder weather. Obviously it's January 3rd now, so we'll continue on with that. But uh, yeah, there's just a bunch of, uh, a bunch of, you know, random random bales that have come through here. But uh, yeah, I wanna walk by here and kinda show you what we're looking at. Haven't touched any of this, so bear with me. The cattle are cleaning up everything inside of these feeders. And I literally mean everything. Um, obviously there's some first cutting, so you had a little uh, little, little thicker, some weeds in there. Um, nothing I'm afraid of, I guess, uh, but they eat it up. There is no waste around these bales. What you do see here, is a little bit when I take the bale off and uh, and and I'm cutting the net wrap off. You know, we had that frozen uh, freezing rain, so all the net wrap just stuck. And man, it's just a waste. I, that's the one big con about net wrap is if you get anything like that where it freezes and melts, freezes and melts, you're taking that outer, you know, uh, eighth of an inch, if not more, like a half inch of hay, I should say, off of that bale with that net wrap. So um, again, just showing you what you're seeing here. Obviously, ice balls in there from uh, the net wrap or the bale having some ice on the, the end caps of it. Um, but yeah, this is, this is fantastic. I've, I've always had to, in the past, continuously move these bale feeders because of uh, the buildup around it. And actually, you can see, if you notice here, they're sinking down into it because of where they're standing. This was all snow and they're actually pushing down. Normally, they'd be building up because of the uh, the hay waste. You know, the, the bale feeders would be on a mound where actually they're kind of in in a groove now because of the uh, the fact that they're standing on top of snow and pushing the snow down versus uh, versus building up manure. So we had a, st oh yeah, I, I fed some grass hay too. So there's some sticks in there from the hay meadows. Obviously, that's what this is from. And, uh, I did, I'll be honest, I purposely made them clean these up good so I could show you everything that was in these video, or uh, in these bale feeders. So I did feed some grass hay, uh, good grass hay at that, but obviously I got a stick along the shelter belt line. Um, but yeah, here's what you're looking at. There's hardly anything around the outside of these bale feeders. Like I said, you can see the indentation of where these cattle are standing, where most bale feeders, you start building up uh, and, and losing sight of the bottom of the feeder, where here you're not. So that should say it all right there. Um, again, you gotta excuse me, like I said, this is just cow hay, man. It's not my uh, my best stuff, but I ain't hiding nothing. There's, uh, again, some of these sticks and stems from the first cutting. I think I had a virgin crop field this year, so I had a little weeds into her, but uh, it's all good. Again, that's my little arrow quip testimonial on these bale feeders. I have less waste. I have uh, the bale feeders in the same spot for oh, coming up almost six weeks here now at the uh, end of this coming week. So this is just awesome. I've never been able to do this. I've always had to move my bale feeders. I've always been kind of flipping bale feeders over and moving to a different spot, pushing up the waste and building my mountain up already. I haven't had to do anything here. Um, 
and, and just I was fortunate we tore down those bins so we're on good pads here uh yeah this is this is well worth it I did the uh, arrow equip um they have a financial cal cal uh, calculator excuse me on there for how many bales you feed and uh, I think it's like calculated on like 20 or 30 percent waste or something like that and uh in two years these bale feeders should pay for themselves so uh the price point yeah it may seem steep right away when you get into one but i'm sitting back and i've been using the one in my uh my butcher steer pen my feeder steers and then now with the big cows and there is no waste around the outside there's there's nothing that the bale doesn't get cleaned up like i said they're they're eating everything that they want to eat within these bale feeders and then uh at the end there they uh they, you can see what they don't eat right i mean everything's getting cleaned up uh so yeah no like i said that's it's uh it's a money saver that's for sure simple as that it's a money saver and and that's what it's about in this business you know with the cost of everything and and nothing's cheap especially feed so if you can go ahead and 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 the other nice thing is with this many feeders here and i went ahead and i only have to feed every two and a half days now so with a hundred and with the three bulls i have running with these bred cows yet i'll pull them once we start calving but with 113 head and the bales are just over 1500 pounds each grass bales might be a little bit lighter um i'm feeding basically seven round bales every two days and change you know if it gets colder they'll it'll be 48 hours they'll need seven more bales but we got back to the 20s again so now it's about every you know 56 60 hours you have to come on and, and put put bales on a feeder yeah i couldn't say enough good things about these uh these feeders and um very very happy with them that's for sure uh that's all i want to share with you guys here today uh thanks again for watching um the goal this year new year of 2023 is to uh almost have a video at every week every sunday we're going to hopefully drop a video at some point on sundays so uh whether it's a little five minute video like this or if it's a uh a situation we find ourselves in uh we just want to keep sharing with you guys here on the farm and the ranch and uh kind of let you know what's going on obviously winter's been crazy so far this year there's a lot of snow out here and uh yeah i better fill them feeders now they're due here before they start thinking they can just go grab them right there i have to have the ranch kitties watch the gate usually it just entices them to chase them so We'll, uh, we'll check back in with you guys here in a week, let you know what's going on, see what we find ourselves getting into. And uh, thanks for watching, YouTube. Have a good one. Happy New Year.